Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands is uh, a game that returns to the Sands of Time universe. Uh, specifically, it fits into the seven year gap between the Sands of Time and the Warrior Within. The, this is an era of the Prince's life where we don't know a lot of what happened to him. We know he went on several adventures, and this is one of those adventures. All of the citizens in uh, the, the Prince's Brothers Kingdom are turned into sand statues. Uh, there's a massive sandstorm that's coming that's going to cover his kingdom in sand, and there's this mystical army that's running around basically wreaking havoc and so the prince has to well find the courage and skill to try to undo this. One of the cool things about uh, the new Prince of Persia game is that uh, our combat is really vamped up. We're, uh, we're able to fight up against 50 enemies at one time of various types so this is something that's really new and exciting for the franchise. We've often had multiple enemy combat but not quite on this scale and it's really something to experience and with a lot of the new powers that we have that integrate into the combat it really creates a, a unique experience for Prince of Persia. Since it's the same prince from the Sands of Time, he does have his rewind power. That is one of the magical powers that he gets in the game. But since this is not the Sands of Time storyline, a lot of his powers are not focused on time. In fact, they're focused on uh, the elements of nature, fire, water, earth, air, that kind of thing. And so throughout the game, the prince will have access to powers that allows him to control these elements. And so therefore, have mastery over his environment, open up paths for acrobatics, as well as unleash these powers to dominate in combat. One of the early core powers that the prince gets is uh, control over water. So uh, the player with this power is able to, like at the pull of a trigger, make all the water in the environment essentially uh, stop, like become solid. And once that water is solid, then we can interact with it in different ways. In uh, combat, we are able to use uh, the various elemental powers as well. For instance, uh, the air power, we're able to, at its very basic, create like a burst of air that uh, knocks enemies around us to the ground so that we can quickly dispatch them. Or if we are able to upgrade that power, we can turn it into a tornado that will actually lift the enemies right off the ground, do damage to them and send them flying away. For me, as a, as a level designer, I think one of our most interesting tools was the, the way that the new powers were designed and how they can influence the environment. In uh, previous Prince of Persia, most of the magic powers were focused on combat, but in this one, we are they're intertwined with the acrobatic core system, and so we've been able to really make the acrobatics get more and more complex as the game progresses and it's been a lot of fun for us creating some very interesting scenarios where the powers begin to mix with the, the acrobatics all at the same time and I think it's something that will make the experience like really compelling all the way through. There's always going to be something a little bit new to experience as you go forward. The game, it, I think it's going to be filled with a number of, I think, memorable sort of wow moments that we'll have in the game. It's the structure of the game is uh, very narrative, like linear, like you follow the story mostly. And so this has given us the opportunity to create very memorable moments along that narrative. Um, I mean, I won't get into any specifics, but you have the kind of thing where you are, like a sandstorm is coming, and so it's really ripping things apart, and so you're going through environments that are falling apart. You have other moments where you're actually like dropping, descending into the depths of the underground, and huge boss battles where like you're actually fighting these massive enemies that are tearing apart the world around them. So it's, uh, there's going to be definitely some memorable moments throughout the experience. So uh, Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands will be coming out in May 2010 on Xbox 360, PS3, PC, uh, Wii, DS, and PSP.